Okay, I'm getting a lot closer to replicating Laser Saber's uh, jewel ringer, and uh, I've been working pretty hard on it. And uh, my last videos, I showed my stubble field coil here in uh, the circuit. You can see that the the stubble field coil goes. Let's see if I can get this light right on this thing. The stubble field coil goes uh, basically here, the inductor in his circuit. And um, the um, thing is, on, on his bills, you need to have the right one of these or the circuit won't oscillate right. And so I've been working a lot trying to figure out what to, to do there because that's basically supplying the uh, power to the base of the transistor. It, the energy runs through that and, and his circuits, it rings back and forth and back and forth here and I don't have that right yet. So I've been working real hard on that trying to figure out how to do it. And I replaced this with what's called a, a line filter or a one-to-one -one isolation transformer. It's a little tiny component. And then I tried the uh, the um, kind of diodes that he, uh, the germanium diodes here, and didn't have any luck. So I don't know what's wrong with my setup. So I just used uh, one diode and then finally decided to use just an LED. And I got this little thing running here. And this thing here uh, is working. And that's the little line filter or a one-to-one -one isolation transformer. It's two coils. Uh, with four pins, and depending on how you wire it, you end up with a scenario like what Laser Saber had. And you can see I'm running my uh, my little CFL. Now I've got this uh, big super capacitor. It's 22 farads. That's huge compared to what he's using. That's why I do not have a replication because of that one part there. I've ordered the correct parts, and when I get them, then I'll I'll try again to replicate his circuit. But uh, it's running on <coughs> two volts, two and a half volts. Let me pull the batteries off. There goes the batteries, and there's there's the unit running on the capacitor. It's really no mystery. It's just energy coming out of that capacitor, and uh, it's not all that great. You know, it's 30 to 100 milliamps. That is that is not that great. So I've got a long way to go. But I did put a potentiometer here on it so that you could vary the brightness on it and make it go brighter or less. And I kind of liked that. That was kind of a cool idea. And then I found out that you can disconnect, I think I showed this in the last video, the um, high voltage end of it and uh, just leave a clip lead out of it and it runs just nice on that. And when you do that, you end up getting this um, exciter effect. Let me show this go off on top of the, the uh, that's on top of the capacitor right there. That's the can of the capacitor I'm touching. And that's that exciter effect that when you start picking up, you see those things glowing when I get close? This is this exciter effect that Slayer's exciter and some of the other exciters uh, do. And this is not a SEC. And I'm sorry I mentioned that in my last video. A SEC is a special kind of Dr. Stifler's circuit, exciter circuit. And uh, there's a difference between an exciter and a SEC exciter. So I don't want people to confuse that. He gets very angry when you call these things SECs because they're not. They're just a electrostatic type of device. But uh, I'm getting some pretty good uh, exciter kind of stuff off this. Remember, this is just running off that cap right there. And you can light up one of these uh, neons on one leg, which is kind of interesting too. If you just take the neon and you just tap it on the the um, that or at the end of this thing right here, it goes off. Maybe not. And it goes off on that. I guess it's finicky. Of course, it's going to go off over here. <coughs> of course, my little. Uh, Two LEDs go off very bright on this thing all over the circuit. And you see how they glow when I just get near stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with folks that you can make one of these uh, um, circuits using a, a line filter. One of these called line filters or um, one-to-one -one isolation transformers. It's not right, but uh, it, I do like the fact that you can put an LED on it and you can see the amp draw with this LED. You can see they get real bright or real dim. 
and that lets you know the power going through that transistor. That LED is a power indicator, and I kind of like that. But anyway, it's running. I, oop, just went off. Let me start this up again, see if I can get it going again. It's a good test here. There it goes. Sometimes you have to tap this to get it going. If you leave this connected, it runs just fine. If it's disconnected, sometimes it comes on and goes off. Anyway, that's where I am with this project, folks. Thanks for watching.